Hello stamping friends, I am Brenda Hillard and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am located in north central Minnesota. Today is a sunshiny beautiful day and I have some really pretty papers to share with you. Um, florals and they're acrylic painted, it's part of the fancy flora um, suite in the January through April mini. So let's get started on this beautiful project and I'll introduce you to the products I'm going to be using. So as I said, I will be using the Fancy Flora papers. These are like gorgeous. So front and back on all of these. My little puppy is being a noisy little puppy. So I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Okay, so front and backs. And the paper that I chose to use today is this one right here, okay? Look at all of the colors that these papers coordinate with. Isn't it just amazing? These are a six by six pack of paper, 48 sheets, um, gorgeous. All right, so here's what we have. I am going to bring in our card so that you can see it. It looks like this and is what I did is I used the two-tone flora stamp set along with the dies. All right, so for this first big flower, I'm gonna bring in my foam stamping mat. I have a scrap piece of cardstock, and I'm going to be stamping first with the fresh freesia, and then the detailed stamp with Orchid Oasis. So let me open this up. I'm gonna get my big flower here. I'm gonna move it around on my stamp pad, picking up ink. And then I'm just going to press count to five, give that ink time to transfer to my cardstock. And I get that beautiful fresh freesia image. Okay, while this is beautiful, wait till you see what happens next with the Orchid Oasis and I'm going to bring in the detail stamp. Now this two-tone flora photopolymer stamp set, which means we can see through them, has 15 stamps. There are five solids, six solids, and then detail stamps and of course leaves. So I'm inking this up, moving it around, and then when I line it up, I'm just going to line up that bottom curve just like that and stamp and just look at that beautiful detail and dimension that it adds. It's like, wow. All right. So then our next step is going to be to bring in the Daffodil Delight and I'm going to be using the little flowers here. Ink that up. Count to five. And then I'm going to bring in the detail for those little flowers. And I again am going to use the fresh freesia for my centers ink this up and then we get those pretty centers on there and I love the color change of the fresh freesia on the daffodil delight it's really really pretty okay and then last but not least, I'm going to bring in the soft succulent and I'm going to be using this leafy frond. I'm going to ink that up, moving it around on my ink pad and then a count to five. Okay, so that for right now is 
all of the stamping. We will be doing our little birthday banner here in just a moment. So I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of fresh freesia. Just one of those thin little strips that we um, cut off from our cardstock when we're trimming down for a card base. I do need one that's a little bit wider, so I'm just searching in my pile of scrap. I'm going to take my post-it tape and just add that on to the um, fresh freesia. And then I've got my branch. And again, this is just that low tack post-it tape to hold it in place, being I'm gonna cut out more than one, one die at a time. That's when I really like to kind of glue those down. Same thing with the die. If you want just that little curved bottom. And my little puppy is begging for a treat, so we'll give her a treat. And then you have to go lay down. So I will cover and get that to stick on there. I'm going to move this to the side. And we'll bring in the mini stamp and cut and emboss. I hope that you took advantage of the join option during celebration and got yourself one of these cute little minis. Remember, you do not want your plates to, um, you do not want your plates to stack evenly. You want to stagger them. And I'm just going to lay this on, put my plate on top, and then we'll just run this through. And that will cut out the three pieces. And actually, for the card, I have two of these. Wow. But I did do one ahead of time just to save us a little bit of time on the die cutting piece here. And then lastly, we are going to run through our little birthday label. And I'll run that through. Stop, Emmy. She's being really naughty. Normally she's pretty quiet and just goes and lays on her little her little bed over there, but she is she is being something here. All right. I suppose that I keep giving her treats doesn't help the situation here. So here's our little label that we'll need, and that's all of the die cutting that we need to do. I do, however, want to emboss, and we are going to be using this Let's Celebrate. This is the Happy Birthday embossing folder. I do have a scrap piece of cardstock here that I'm just going to line up in my folder. And this is just a um, standard embossing folder. So I need to grab a different plate. Sorry, I thought I had it here. This is the platform you need for your mini. You don't want platform one. You actually want platform three, your folder with the paper, and then cutting plate number two. Do I have that right? No, still not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So three, two, your folder, and then another cutting plate number two. That feels like it's gonna be way, way, way too thick. Oh, that is because using the standard, um, using with standard embossing folders. So we want one, no cutting plates, 
our embossing folder. Usually I use my big machine, as you can tell. And then number three. All right. And as how you can tell is once it starts moving through, you can always tell if it's the right pressure. If it doesn't go through, don't force it. Go back and check your sandwich like I just did. And if it's too loose, you have to check your sandwich too because that means that it's not correct and it will not be embossing. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And now we can see that this has the beautiful birthday sentiments in many languages on our card. All right, so bring in our trimmer. I need to cut this piece down to three and three quarter. All right. And our piece of designer series paper is also three and three quarter inches wide. And I cut this to two and five eighths. I'm going to mount that onto a piece of fresh freesia that measures four by five and a quarter. So, because this is dry embossed and it's raised, I'm going to use my um, liquid adhesive to help get a good bond down to the cardstock. I'm gonna lay this down so that I have equal border on the top and both sides. And I'm just going to give that a minute to dry. And while that's drying, me. I'm gonna put some liquid glue on the back. And just lay that down. like that. Okay, we'll give that just a minute to dry. I'm just going to set a stack of ink pads on there to hold it in place. And then we can start doing our floral arrangement. I love that. I have a card base that measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm gonna fold that in half, matching up my edges. Take my bone folder and give that a good crease. Making sure my edges are super even. I don't like when I do card, when I don't have like that perfect edge right there, that fold. Okay, that should be plenty of time. I'm gonna take my stamp and seal and I'm just going to add adhesive to the back of my card and center that on the front. Okay, so right now it's not looking like much but it, just wait till you see when we jazz it up here. All right, so I'm gonna take my little sentiment piece and using the happy birthday from the something fancy, and I did do the, that's where this label die came from. It's right here. So this is the Something Fancy Bundle. These labels and tags are gorgeous. So I'm just going to take my Orchid Oasis ink along with the Happy Birthday, ink it up, stamp my sentiment. All right. Now, I wanna add some Stampin' Dimensionals. And if you follow me, you know that I'm a dimensional girl. I love, love, love my dimensionals. So I'm going to take two 
dimensionals on the back here. And I'm going to take the backings off to reveal the adhesive. But before I put it down, I need a little piece of this Orchid Oasis metallic ribbon. And as all I'm going to do is just loop it back on itself so that there's two loops. And I'm just going to adhere that down like so. And I know you look at it and you're like, well, that doesn't look very pretty with those edges. But we're going to take our sentiment and go over the top just like that. We can take our big flower that we stamped and die cut earlier. And again, I want to add a couple dimensionals to the back. I'm going to use my take your pick tool to get the backings off. And I'm just going to put that right over here on that edge. Let's do another dimensional. And I'm going to put that right on one of my, oops, sorry, one of my yellow flowers. And just one, it's small, it holds it in place. But I'm going to tuck this up underneath and just kind of have that like trellis down from my sentiment. I'm gonna take my soft succulent branch and add some adhesive. I did a bunch of these for a demonstrator card swap, and so um, I'm just being, I know, very methodical about the assembly, but when you do a bunch of them, you know, I added a dimensional to another one of the yellow flowers, and I'm going to put that in here so it kind of trails upward on our card. Are you loving it? I really do love this card. I think the colors are stunning. And then to finish it off, I'm going to be using just some of our basic, our pearl basic jewels. I'm gonna put a big pearl right down here. And then I'll do one of these. They're almost like seed, seed beads, seed pearls, but they are adhesive backed. And if you use the point of your, your scissor or your take your pick tool, you can place those right where you want them. So there we have our beautiful floral birthday card. And like I said, I did those for a demonstrator swap. Now, when I cut these pieces, there were some residual pieces of designer series paper. So you know me and you know me and my envelopes. I do not like naked envelopes. So I'm just going to add some stamp and seal onto the flap of my envelope. Oops, that piece is a little bit too small. Here, this is the one I wanted. Put it right here at the crease or at that score line for the flap and then we can take our snips and if you don't have snips put those on your wish list because they are amazing and they stay sharp 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 all right i'm just going to go around that corner and there we have our matching envelope for our card. Now, was what I didn't do was an inside sentiment, and I decided now that I would like to use this sentiment from the Something Fancy, and it says... Um,
The sentiment I want to use is grateful for the everyday magic of you. I just think that is so pretty. So I'm going to put that onto my block here. I'm going to open up my card. And I want to add my sentiment. Pretty, pretty, right? And then I thought this would be the right, this would be the right um, inside piece for our card. But I don't think I want it full strength. So I'm going to bring in just my scrap and I'm going to stamp off. stamp off and then I'm going to stamp onto my card and over my sentiment. Pretty, right? You guys, I hope you'll give this card a try and be sure to check out the embossing folders from the annual catalog. They're called Let's Celebrate. And this is the birthday one. And then there's also a thank you. So thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. That's how I grow my viewership and my customer base. I so appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.